Laptops with USB-C ports like my Surface Book 2 here seem to be all the rage these days. The port can handle power, display out, and also hubs or docks and accessories. So it's really versatile and small. It's one of the biggest improvements to modern laptops and computers that we've seen in a while. Now there are tons of docks and dongles. All you have to do is type in USB-C dongle on Amazon or dock and you could spend the next three hours searching through all the crap that's on there. But a lot of them, especially if you're a power user, aren't that good or won't be that effective. So after a lot of trial and error testing out different devices, I came up with these accessories that I think will simplify the USB-C experience and enhance any power user's mobile setup. So one of the first devices you will wanna pick up if you have a USB Type-C laptop or wanna take advantage of that port is something that can help you get the display out. This Surface Book 2 here doesn't have an HDMI or display port out, it just has a USB Type-C port. So after much testing, uh, there are a ton of HDMI to USB-C or display port to USB-C devices, but this device from Ugreen is special. It's a little bit different. I searched long and hard to find something that was as cool and unique as this. It handles 4K 60 out, just like most of the other ones, but also it has a power delivery USB-C port in the top, which separates it completely from all the other ones. So you can get power and USB-C video out from one cable. So it simplifies things a lot. If you have a setup at home or on the go or in the office where you can just plug the power, leave it in here, and then you can plug this into your machine. It simplifies everything, makes it a lot easier. So one thing to note with this, uh, it only gives you around 60 watts of power, which is plenty for doing casual work, but if you're gonna be gaming, rendering, doing anything like that, you're gonna wanna look at another solution. But this is a great little device. It's made of nice aluminum, got a black cable. I think it looks really good and it works well. An HDMI out with power delivery is nice, but what if you need a full dock? that can give you extra ports and connectors similar to what you would find on your home desktop. This Cable Matters dock is pretty much the best option I've found so far for power users. At first glance, this Cable Matters hub does not look different from any of the other USB Type-C hubs you see out there. It has a pretty modest port selection with an Ethernet port, HDMI, as well as a USB-C port for charging a SD card slot and another USB 3.0 port. At the bottom, nothing really there, but it does have some feet to keep it stable and obviously the USB-C connector. Now you're probably saying one USB 3.0 port, th that's terrible, this dock sucks, I can get something for much less that gives me more connectivity. And you're absolutely right, you can. But the reason I went with this one, if you are in fact a power user and you have a laptop that sucks up a lot of juice, this Surface Book 2 hits around 90 to 100 watts from the wall. This adapter can take that much juice inside its USB-C port and pump it into the laptop while still doing display out and giving full connection for your USB ports, everything you want here. Most of the devices you'll see, most of the docks you'll find on Amazon or anywhere else can't do that. They'll usually hit around 60 watts and they'll say 100 watts power delivery, but really that's shared between that and the HDMI out and the USB 3 ports, so on and so forth. So now we have the system stressed, doing a render, stressing the GPU and CPU, and you can see we're pulling a full 90 watts there. 90.5 is pretty stable at around that, and it doesn't seem to be going above it. So you can get a full 90 watts through this, this USB-C hub here. It's the most power I've gotten through any of them, not even close, the highest I've seen prior to that was around 60. So this is an excellent, excellent adapter. I'm charging the laptop and giving full performance and power to my GPU and CPU. Speaking of power delivery, any true mobile warrior is gonna to wanna to pick up a secondary power adapter. I like to leave the Surface Book charger here at home and take a portable one that I can just throw in the bag and forget about on the go. So I found this Insignia charger Yep, that's Insignia, the Best Buy brand, after a lot of searching. Uh, I picked this up primarily because it was only 40 bucks. Well, it's on sale now for 40 bucks, uh, but it is a full 90 watt charger. And in practical use, I'm seeing it pull anywhere from 90 to 94 watts through the Surface Book 2. So that's almost as powerful as the laptop charger that comes with it, which is, gives you around 100 watts. But in terms of practical use, I could run full freight, pull 94 watts from the wall 
and my battery won't drain. I can charge and work on the go at my convenience. So this is a great little charger. Uh, it's a pretty compact brick, not too small, but it's 90 watts obviously. It has a flip out little guy here. And it, the only downside to this is it only has a five foot cord. So that's all the cord you get. You can obviously get an extension to put on this end and plug it into the wall. That's what I did. I got a one foot extension there, uh, but that's the one downside. Uh, this is only five feet, so it's not super crazy long. You'll have to be close to a plug if you're gonna use it. But other than that, this has been an amazing device so far. Obviously it's kind of pretty flat, so it can just get thrown into a bag. It works really well. And obviously at $40, it's one of the best bargains out there. The competing USB-C chargers I've seen around this um, power output have been upwards of 70, 80, sometimes even $100. So this is a great value. One thing you will notice about pretty much all USB Type-C devices is that they have straight cables. And some of them can be pretty thick, like this one is fairly thick. It does power and video out in one cable, so it should be. Uh, but that can create problems when you're connecting to your laptop, say the Service Book 2, I'm right-handed, the USB-C port is on the right side, and it just kind of sticks out there. Even when you bend it, it's still kind of in the way. So one of the most useful things that I found is these USB Type-C right angle adapters. For nine bucks, you can get two of these in a pack and they dramatically simplify your mobile setup. I really like the way they push all the clutter of the cables to the back and out of the way. I have these permanently attached to my dock, power adapter, and my USB Type-C with power delivery and HDMI out. So these are really cool. They're very cheap and affordable, rock solid. I haven't had any issues with them yet. And they actually make your setup look cooler, your mobile setup at least. Now my Surface Book 2 has a 512 gigabyte internal NVMe SSD, but like most power users, I still need external storage sometimes. I do a lot of video editing. No matter what you're doing, you may run into a situation where you need some external storage. So instead of going with one of the pre-made options, I found this guy, which is an external M.2 drive enclosure. It's a USB-C type enclosure. So it's got a nice USB-C port there. It's fully aluminum and it was only about 20 bucks. So you can put whatever M.2 drive you want in here. It's not compatible with NVMe drives, so you're not gonna get ridiculous speeds, but you will get good SATA speeds. I was seeing around 400 megabytes per second transfer, so that's really good. That's plenty fast for what I'm doing, video and editing and rendering, so on and so forth. So this is a great option, obviously, whatever capacity you want. I have a 500 gig 860 Evo in here, but you could do 120, you could do four terabyte if you wanted. So you can get crazy and creative and you should save a little bit of money uh, when compared to some of the pre-made options out there. But I really like the way this looks. This is the black model. It's very sleek, no branding. There's also a silver and red, I believe. I'll link in the description so you can see all the options available. But a great device, fast, stable, secure. Uh, I really am enjoying this. A lot of you out there like me may be used to working with large screens. That is a 38 inch ultra wide. It's essentially the width of two 1080p monitors next to each other. I'm used to having a lot of screen real estate. And when you're on the go, something like this, while the nice 13.5 inch screen is generous and has a good pixel density, it still can't come close to matching what you get from your desktop monitor. Now you're probably wondering what this guy is here. This is actually an external USB-C monitor from ASUS. At this point, I have tested out about three of these guys. This is the best one by far. It has a nice aluminum casing. It's decently bright at 220 nits. Obviously, it's not gonna be as bright as your laptop screen or a full monitor, but it is bright enough to get the job done, especially when you're not in daylight. And the best part about this is it can be powered entirely from the USB-C port. So one cable, one connector, slide it in and you've got a 15 inch 1080p 60 display. I found the colors to be accurate. Now, while I wouldn't do any color correction, uh, I was using this for my editing on the side since it's obviously a bigger screen while having my main tabs open on the laptop screen. So it's really useful if you are a productivity beast and you need a secondary screen on the go. This is fantastic. You can just wrap it up into its included case and stand like that and just throw it in your bag. Super simple, nice and easy. It's magnetic, the case, and it can stand vertically or horizontally, whichever way you want. 
and you only have that one USB-C connected. So this has been a game changer in terms of mobile productivity for me, especially when doing video edits. It feels like I'm at home now because I have all the screen real estate that I can need to get the job done. So these are all the accessories I found to kind of supercharge my portable laptop experience and I'm really happy with them. I will be on the lookout always for additional docks. If I can find a USB-C dock or hub that had more USB 3.0 ports and still had the same power delivery as this, that would be great and I would definitely be interested in that. But for now, this is a great setup for me. It works really well. Hopefully this helps you guys out as well. I'll drop links below to everything you see here. If you have any questions or any recommendations, for sure, I'm always looking for new stuff, drop them in the comments below, or you can head over to the article on the website and look at that there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything. I'll see you next time.